Each time one piece of the gears don't work, the whole mm. machine stops. This is a special live stream for me, for us, for all of us. Uh, Matthias, Myron, Lara are one of the first contributors of the community. So I, I'm really excited for this live stream to share the experience of them because I feel a tiny part of this project helping spreading the word. So this is a spectacular movie. I don't know if everyone watched the already is on Netflix. If you didn't go and watch it because it's a big improvement for our industry, we shared a couple of content that was massive. Also, the first one I remember with Myron, we got all the industry in the comments. <laughs> also, people like Lawrence Sher and other many industry professionals. So yeah. I'm happy to introduce the captain, Matthias Bucard, in the top right part of the screen. Hello, everybody. I saw Khalid. Khalid was there, so I say... Yeah, I saw too. Khalid. Hi, Khalid. There are many, many good people there. Yeah. Yeah. We have the, the Ninja Focus Puller below in the bottom. Hello. <laughs> Lara Perot and the Gimbal Ninja, the, the man, my romance. And hopefully... Well, actually, we the Gimbal Ninja is, uh, is Florian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to be sure about that. No, it's the lion. Yeah, the lion. Yeah. It's uh, the lion. The, lion. Sorry. the lion. The samurai. Yeah. The samurai, yes. Let's do but this because thing. you you were ninja in this movie. It's crazy yeah, what we yeah, yeah. what we yeah. saw. I think uh, I think everybody was a ninja in this movie, to be yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I was only yeah. a ninja in rehearsal. Then I uh, was yeah. well sitting <laughs> in front of my monitor, <laughs> watching Myron sweating, hammering, falling, Lara <laughs> moving backwards, <laughs> making some stories. Yeah. Yeah, everybody <laughs> no, no, was joking. moving, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you want to quickly introduce yourself? Just one minute, guys, for those that maybe don't know you. Just yeah. in a round. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Matthias Buka, I'm DOP. Um, I'm like working in commercial and future film. I did like a movie like uh, The Odyssey, the Custo biopic. I recently do, did a movie about uh, the Eiffel Tower uh, and I just uh, made Athena and I was DOP on, uh, on his amazing experience. Okay, go Lara. Hi, I'm Lara, Focus, uh, Focus Puller. Um, I'm working in this industry since uh, I'm 19. Um, it's my second movie with Matthias. I did FL, and uh, I will also work with uh, when Wes Anderson and Friends Dispatch. And uh, it's my first movie with uh, with uh, Myron Mans. So it was a, it was a very <laughs> special. Uh... Ah, come on! <laughs> yeah, because it was, a, it was an honor to work with him. And uh, you need to know it. that when you work with Myron, you have to organize a barbecue each Saturday to enjoy him <laughs> as a I'm South, South African, African uh, come on, bride, yeah. you know. So we try all we of need the fuel team. to keep moving, <laughs> so that's a real commitment, yeah. yeah. And you, Myron, who are you? Myron? Uh, I'm Myron Mans, uh, gimbal operator, camera operator, and uh. Mostly commercials background, you know, coming from the Adidas, Nikes, that sort of thing. Whereas a lot of sports, a lot of movement, always movement, you know. Yeah, and this I, is I actually met... this is actually my first sort of big full length feature feature film because I always go in as a specialized operator doing uh, certain shots. You know, I don't go in for the entire film because for me, sitting behind a, a dolly or head and legs is 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 not really what I do. I, of course, I can do it, but I like to move, you know. Yeah. No, yeah. and also it's like I mean, from from the beginning uh, when I was hiring Myron, it was like, oh, I need to run, uh, and then I saw this guy on the roller, and we should start to work together, and then uh, and then I I I uh, I figure out that he was also because he has a big background as sparks and grips, and he and like Lara, they all coming from like a background of technicians mm -hmm. starting as an intern and working ten years. Uh, then I, I start to have some some like second unit shots jobs to do on jobs and I and uh, the same way that I do it with Lara also uh, um, um, Myron I start to do that with Myron then I figure out that Myron was also doing a drone and then uh, so so 
is really humble, but it's not just the guy that stabilized the camera. He's a real operator. And, uh, and I think on this movie that he has like a full link, like a, a real, uh, uh, all, he did all the 55 days and he, and he, he did more than stabilize the camera and he did handheld and uh, drawn and DP second unit. Uh, so he's a full uh, um, operator, you know, that have this ability to run. No, honestly, yeah, thank you. you will never say that from you, but, I, but it's true. Like now, also that she now we're working on commercial together, and she does be a second unit with me, and and that's also part of uh, you know Manu contact me for all the people that uh, that are now on the on the live. Manu contact me to say, oh, hey, let's do let's do live, and I was super. Int- I said, let's share with the community because absolutely. there's there's some stuff to learn in this in this movie. And uh, I absolutely want that we all the team uh, join uh, because, uh, I mean, doing a future film is a teamwork, but especially on this one. And um, we work as a chain and uh, everybody was counting. And uh, I don't want to take all the lights. Uh, Of course, we have our God, Romain, which has everything in mind and ask us to the impossible. And thanks for that. Because uh, and then we have to all of us make it possible. So that's why we are like there as a team and we share the content uh, on Instagram as a team and uh, the same way that we shot the movie. Yeah, I, I just pinned a comment from Kun Sine. He's mm-hmm. a Steadicam operator, mm-hmm. also SOC. Athena was probably one of the best technical feature film this year has to offer. Amazing work, guys. So thank from, you. Thank you. Thank from you. one of your colleagues, it means a lot. Thank you very, yeah, thank you very much, Kun. Yeah. I mean, and, uh, but, I also saw a comment, a question, uh, I forget who it was from, uh, how was it to work with Roman? And it's fantastic to work with Romant. He's such a focused person. He has such big ideas and each take builds on the last take, you know. So we did a lot of rehearsals and uh, to get to that one perfect take, obviously being long takes. So, and always staying calm, never shouting, always humble, always nice. So it's super pleasure to work with uh, Mr. Gavras. Yeah. yeah, like you say, it's someone that, that he, he, he gets enough confidence to build the, the shot step by step, take after take, and uh, always think about how to make it better and not what doesn't work, you know? And when something it doesn't work, it just asks you, could you make it better? Yes, no. If you cannot, then, uh, then we move on, which is like a big thing when you're doing something really technical, you know? Okay. Hey, thank you guys. There's, there's a director <laughs> from LA Allocation. He's one of yeah, our yeah, biggest yeah, yeah. friends and contributors. Thank you, Allocation. So, uh, so, movie of the year, one not the number of takes on the long shots that were hard technically. Wow. And that, <laughs> we, <laughs> look at me, look at me. <laughs> Magic, magician don't reveal the tricks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For, for us we, to know and for you to find out, uh, you have to study. You have to study the film. Yeah. Now yeah. the thing is, the thing is to be honest is like a part of big part of the pleasure when you're watching the film is to find out where. Exactly. Uh, so maybe one day we will tell exactly where, how. But uh, now at the moment we you don't have to really. Keep the yeah, yeah, we keep the magic in a way because there are some people that they they have like a fun. But we can't say most mostly the shots are very long takes, and yeah. uh, we rehearse the entire day, uh, every day to get the the one perfect take at the exact same right light. Uh, you know, so it it definitely was a, a big challenge to to do these long sequences. Yeah, just you to realize that we were doing one take per day. And one day or two days, because you, in the movie you get cut, we were doing two take, or we were doing three take or three shot. And when we were doing two, two shot or three shot, we were completely disorganized <laughs> because we were so like prepping to do one shot in a day <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that when we have to do two, we were like, 
oh wow, two shot. You don't yeah. realize the same. <laughs> but also, we like, like we were saying, uh, like like uh, Roman keeps building on every take. So yeah, by the time you do the first take in the day, the first rehearsal, compared to the actual shot that we see on on the screen, it's uh, we almost don't recognize it. You know, every every take, every time we go for another one, there's something more to see in the background. Even after shooting the film, uh, after watching it. I've watched it a few times after filming it. And uh, each time I watch it, I find something new in the background. I found uh, a little little hidden uh, extras every time, you know? Yeah. You need also a lot of water because it's so intense. I watched it alone in my yeah, yeah. room, all black, yeah. and it was, oh my God. <laughs> Great. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's up? Okay. Yeah. But Get your heart very, back. At some point, yeah. it was part of the... <laughs> It was part of the challenge. You, we wanted. What is cool is like we had. We 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 were really feeling what you guys gonna feel when you were watching, because uh, the we are, without any editing, what we were shooting each day, it was like what we're gonna deliver to people. It was and, real. Uh, yeah. I think the what you feel when you're watching the the movie, it's almost what what we feel when we were doing the movie. I think it's it's quite connected and organic and. And all this energy, because it was full of energy, I can tell you that each time when it was like, okay, action, they were, they were like a noise, you know, noise of all the like crown and the chaos. Yeah, and I get like, excited just uh, <laughs> reminiscing and thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because it was, it was crazy literally like you, you got yeah. thrown into the, into the war, you know, like you were part of the film. Uh, usually being behind camera, you know, you feel like you're behind the camera and you're watching the action. This time, the the camera, the focus, the grips, the DP, everybody who was there was in the film. You know, each day we saw the film growing little bit by little bit, and and every day we felt like we were part of it. By the end, all of us were were one big family. You know, especially for me, it was hard being the only English speaking person in in, in France, <laughs> and so <laughs> when I heard English, I knew it was for me. So I just kind of focus and drown it out and when I hear something in English, yes, okay, that's for me. And... Pour y arriver, on a mis en place un système où deux opérateurs se passent la caméra. Uh, it, I it see a nice exciting. question about uh, if there one shot that it didn't work in rehearsal and work in yeah. uh, uh, take. You need let's to understand that. Eye. Let's keep an eye and use the yeah. conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a good introduction to talk about how we decide and we build those those long take. Um, so basically, when I a lot of people tell me where that came from and why and blah blah. When I re received the script from Roma, it was like actually like seconds one shot one. 10, 15 page, cut, shot two, sequence. So it was already made uh, and right. And then we had to find a location where we can do that. Uh, we find the location, then Romain spent a few days with, with La Gilly, the, the one of the script writer, and uh, they, they, they really like uh, fine tune the script. Then it take is, is, um, then, then, then he bring me to set. I was, I was with him, and I get all those video. I'm gonna share you for the community uh, uh, soon, for sure. Uh, uh, and then I have, I have video of him explain me all the shot and what's gonna happen. And he's alone. He looks like a, like a, like a crazy man <laughs> in front of you know, in an empty place. Explain me like, <clears throat> like they are bomb. They are seeing that that something happened. Blah, blah. So we so that was the first part. We built it in like a lot of intimacy, we like a like a bad draw, you know, of the of the painting, and then uh, and then we we start a, re a big rehearsal uh, uh, process, which is was actually uh, five weeks, uh, with me and Lara. Lara was already there. Uh, we were we also have a one video guy, and I shoot and I shot all the shots and I designed all the shots with Roma, with a, with an Alexa Mini left. And an easy ring, you know. And so I was like, I was, I was going in the set and see if we have to remove a door, 
or how to build the lo- how to build the, how to set design the uh, um, uh, the, the location, uh, how fast we have to go, uh, where we find the problem. So, during this process, during those five weeks, we had like a, a bad version of the movie, which I have also on my iPhone, and which is really funny because it's like three actors, five uh, young guys, five cops, and we were pretending that that was the yeah, huge. Yeah. So it was that that that's bring us enough confidence to 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 think that uh, all those shots was possible. But of course, it's not the it's not the same difference that uh, me uh, running alone with the easy ring with five people cut my run running with three hundred people around him, firework protecting. You know the the the, the last bit. It's it's a lot of work, you know, and a lot of like uh, uh, dexterity to be able to, to do that. So at the end of the at the end of this rehearsal, Myron joined join, join me, mm. and then after Emric joined me also, and uh, we start to to rehearsal again the 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 most technical plan shot with them. So they 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 were starting to put their input and to to you know their heart and their 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 think so by the day that we arrived on the shoot the philosophy was okay we now the only problem that we can have it's with the actors or it has to be like now it's time for comedy if we have a technical problem on that day we fail the full day of shoots has to be for comedy narrative and roma we have enough time before to solve the problem. So when we were not ready, we didn't have the solution, but we knew where was the problem, which is a big, big, big difference. Because then, for example, a- I was shooting with Emric, and Myron was alone thinking about how, how to find a solution for that problem. And or, or Myron was shooting, and Emric was finding a solution sometime for Myron. Mm. Or I was, you know, so, so the the the... The, the, the philosophy, so we never fail during shoots. And actually, except for Myron and Lara, which was like, and a lot of people, which was like really a big challenge each day, I was like quite ready each day, you know, on my part, you know. Uh, of course, it's another, it's another thing. And I don't know how did you, did you link the rehearsal that we made with your work, Myron? Yeah, I mean uh, the the rehearsals definitely helped because it was a very rough, a rough take. Uh, you know, obviously not stabilized on the easy rig, one height, uh, and so it was allowing everybody to build on top of that that image to see. You know, maybe it would be better to 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 go right or to go left, um, or bring somebody in here or somebody in there. So you know, and then and then we had something to work off. We had a stepping stone to start. Shooting and when once we started shooting, shooting again the same with uh, Roman. Every time we saw something uh, happen, it would give us an idea to add something to it. So every time it built, and and it was really hard for us to and for for Lara and for Emmerich and myself to always remember each cue, and and often you don't you don't see the person, you hear them. So you have to give a, a hint that somebody's there and to shoot without the sound, um, you know, because all the chaos going on and bombs and rockets and fireworks and being in full gear with uh, a fireproof uh, suit and everything, everything was was very focused in on the frame. And so you, you, couldn't, you couldn't think about the story in total. You had to think about the actor that you were with and stick with the actor you're with. So sometimes, you know, we would mess up by by doing a wrong beat by thinking too much, you know. Yeah, so we sure. always had to 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 kind of drown out all the thoughts and just stay hundred percent focused on on the rehearsal. And the rehearsal just kept growing so that it became copy paste and, and we didn't have to think anymore and everybody just worked like a machine, you know. And and, yeah. and 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 then what was really interesting, and that's why I think um, we we all make this movie uh, Athena for the one that they join us. Uh, we hold this; it's like a chain because okay, Roman starts in his room writing, and then he improve himself in the location, and then we start to work with Roma, and then Lars came, and I start to design the shot. 
and then Myron's came. So it was, and then, and then it's cool all that work and Myron or Emric because then I will explain why and why we we use Silicam or Gimel or whatever. But then also uh, at that point, if uh, Lara uh, fail, then uh, nothing worked too, you know, because uh, that's a good point because each time one piece of the the gears don't work the whole hmm. machine stops you know yeah so exactly if if there was one moment of a focus buzz or one moment with a frame uh, clipping clipping the actor the take was gone and hmm. we would have to reset everything all the fireworks were real all the the special effects were in camera they were all real so it was quite a big reset every time for for a really small mistake so everybody had to be on the a game every single moment of every day